In this video we will discuss the first heart sound. First we will discuss the normal first heart sound. Then we will discuss the disorders which cause a soft first heart sound and a loud first heart sound and a splitting of the first heart sound. The first heart sound, the love sound is soft in nature and is 0.15 seconds in duration. It's longer in duration than second heart sound and why is due to? It's due to the closure of the AV valves. What are the AV valves? Mitral and tricuspid valves are the AV valves. What's the location of mitral and tricuspid valve? Mitral valve is between the left atrium and left ventricle and is bicuspid and tricuspid valve is between the right atrium and right ventricle. So when mitral valve opens the blood flows from the left atrium to the left ventricle and when tricuspid valve open the blood flows from the right atrium to the right ventricle. When does the AV valves open and close? When the atria contract atrial pressure becomes more than the ventricular pressure and they move into the ventricular cavity opening the mitral and tricuspid orifices. Mitral and tricuspid cuspid valves close at the start of ventricular systole or ventricular contraction when ventricular pressure rises more than the atria. So this red line indicates the ventricular pressure rising at the ventricular systole whereas the aortic and pulmonary valves close at the end of the ventricular systole. So the AV valve close at the beginning of the ventricular systole and here the aortic and pulmonary valve they close at the end of the ventricular systole and when the AV valve close pressure in the ventricle rises. So this is the rise of the ventricular pressure and at this point the aortic valves open. This is the portion of the cycle when it's isovolumetric contraction period. What's isovolumetric contraction? In which the amount of of the blood in the ventricles remains constant but the pressure rises in the ventricles during the ventricular systole and if you see this gray column this is the time and duration of the isovolumetric contraction and it ends when aortic and pulmonary valve open at this point this is the point where aortic and pulmonary valve close and then when the ventricular diastolic pressure goes down and when it goes down below the atrial pressure this is the point where the AV valves open. So this the gray bar on the left shows the isovolumetric period of relaxation when the semilunar wall close and then when the ventricular pressure goes down below the atrial pressure AV valves open. This is the isometric period of relaxation. So this is the effect of the AV valve closure that the ventricle becomes a closed cavity isovolumetric contraction. So I already told how long the isovolumetric contraction lasts. So this is the point starting here. It's between the closure of the AV valves and opening of the semilunar valve period of of isovolumetric contraction. It's a whole width of the gray column. So in what conditions the isovolumetric contraction does not occur? Conditions which cause a defect in the valves. AV and semilunar valvular defect. They cause loss of isovolumetric contraction. Isovolumetric contraction does not occur. Where S1 is best heard? The first heart sound is best heard at the apex area and the left lower external border area which is the tricuspid area also. What's the correlation of the AV valve closure with the AKG and cardiac cycle? First heart sound comes just after the QRS complex. See here first heart sound this is the QRS complex. It comes just after the QRS complex and where in the cardiac cycle S1 comes at the right at the start of the ventricular contraction. So the mitral and tricuspid valves close at the start of the ventricular systole and remains closed during the isovolumetric contraction and they open when the ventricular pressure goes down below the atrial pressure at the end of ventricular diastole. What's the normal atrial pressure? At the beginning of the systole the this black dotted line is the atrial pressure. At the beginning of the systole it's zero and then it rises. In the right atrium it rises to four to six millimeters of mercury and in the left atrium to seven to eight millimeters of mercury. The intensity of the first heart sound. Intensity of the first heart sound depends on the pressure, depends on the presence or absence of a structural defect mainly in the mitral valve. So what are the causes of the soft 
first heart sound. I divided these causes of soft first heart sound into non-cardiac causes, abnormalities in the heart and abnormalities in the cardiac valve. So the non-cardiac causes that cause soft S1 are obesity, the thick wall decreases the intensity of the first heart sound so it becomes soft and in COPD in emphysematic patients it becomes soft because of increased lung volumes. Number two abnormalities in the heart, long PR interval, first degree heart block and a condition that decreases the cardiac contractility, congestive heart failure, left ventricular dilatation and low cardiac output and myocardial depression. Ventricular septal defects also called a soft heart sound. Now abnormalities in the cardiac well, mitral and aortic regurgitation cause soft first heart sound and there is no isovolumetric contraction in them. When in mitral stenosis S1 becomes soft, normally in mitral stenosis the first heart sound is loud. But if the mitral valve is calcified and becomes immobile, first heart sound becomes soft. Now what are the causes of loud first heart sound? It's divided into physiological conditions without cardiac pathology and number three with cardiac pathology. Physiological conditions which cause loud first heart sound are exercise and thin chest wall. Conditions without cardiac pathology causing loud first sound are hyperdynamic circulation, anemia, fever and thyrotoxicosis. Conditions with cardiac pathology causing loud first heart sound are increased AV flow. Example is mitral stenosis. Short PR interval for example in Wolf Parkinson White syndrome and in short diastole example tachycardia. What are the causes of variable intensity of first heart sound? Atrial fibrillation and complete heart block. What's the cause of first heart sound split? First heart sound is due to the closure of the AV valve, mitral and tricuspid. So the first heart sound is split is due to the time difference in the closure of the mitral and tricuspid valve. First heart sound is split, widening of the first heart sound is most often due to complete right bundle branch block.